Hey, Psyched Goers, welcome back to our channel. Thank you all so much for the love that you've given us. Your ongoing support is what helps us make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. So, thank you. We would also like to remind you that this video is purely for educational purposes only. It is not intended to be advice on what you should or shouldn't do. Psych2Go promotes your freedom to make your own decisions if you feel like you may be in any of these situations. But with that said, let's begin. Do you find it hard to say no to things? Even when they make you feel unhappy or when it impacts your physical and mental health? Experiencing outside pressure is common, whether it be from peers, family, friends, or society as a whole. They might want you to conform to their ideals, even if it goes against what you believe in or what you truly want to do in that situation. Or maybe you're the type of person who is naturally a yes person and finds it hard to say no to anything. This is mainly due to FOMO or fear of missing out. As a result, you can end up burning yourself out. So it's important for you to know when you need to say no to things in order to protect your well-being. Here are 11 things you should say no to. Number one, say no to toxic people. How many times have you surrounded yourself with negative or toxic people who just weren't good for you? You are perfectly within your right to say no to anybody who causes you any kind of distress or unhappiness. Toxicity breeds negativity. It's like a virus and it will spread if you don't stand your ground and challenge these toxic people in your life. Rob Two once said, it's amazing how quickly things can turn around when you remove toxic people from your life. When you make more time for positive people in your life who bring you energy and happiness, this will allow you to say no to toxic people in the future. Number two, say no to people who make you feel unsafe. Have you ever felt scared or anxious when around certain people and felt too nervous to say anything to them or to walk away from them? Needless to say, you don't want to be around people who make you scared for your own well-being. You may feel an obligation to say yes to these people because you're concerned about what will happen if you don't. Do you have the right to feel safe and not live on edge when you could fall off at any moment? Safety is absolutely key and you should feel secure with anybody who you choose to let in your life. Number three, say no to people who disregard your emotional well-being and feelings. If you're feeling that your feelings don't matter or aren't valued by others, then you can say no to these people in your life. You deserve to have the freedom to express your emotions as a human being. If others don't value that, that means that they don't value you and they can forfeit the right to be part of your life. Number four, say no to situations that make you feel unwanted. Have you experienced abandonment in your life, especially during childhood? When you're unable to properly process this type of trauma, these experiences with abandonment can become the deepest fundamental beliefs that you have about yourself on an unconscious level. So whenever you're in a situation that makes you feel abandoned or unwanted, it's time to make a conscious decision to remove yourself from it. You're better off without them. After all, you are worthy and you deserve so much better. Number five, say no to negative self-talk. It's too easy to spiral with all the could've, would've, and should've when we think about ourselves. This is a self-loathing type of self-talk when it gets out of control. Putting yourself down is not going to fix the problem. So it's important to be reflective rather than critical. Think about the things you did well and the things you can work on. Though this is easier said than done, reframing your thoughts and trying to think more positively will shift the perspective you have on yourself. Number six, say no to comparing yourself to other people. Do you tend to obsess over what other people are doing? Oscar Wilde once said, be yourself, everybody else is taken. Don't waste time comparing things that aren't comparable. Every one of us is different and unique in our own ways, and that's okay, that's beautiful. After all, everyone has their own flaws, abilities, and strengths. So here are some important questions to ask yourself. What are your own passions and goals? How do you plan to become a better version of yourself? Number seven, say no to bad partners. Are you in an unhealthy relationship? If you're not happy in a relationship, there's no obligation to stay in it. Ask yourself if you have healthy communication with the potential partner before saying yes to them. Clarify their motives from the beginning. 
and make sure the two of you vibe well together. There's nothing more unsettling than bad energy in a relationship, and you can say no if you feel like it's not going to work out. Number eight, say no to resisting growth and healing. How many times have you let opportunities slip away because you lacked the belief in yourself? You are your own masterpiece, and you can own every aspect of who you are. Say yes to opportunities for personal growth and development. Take chances rather than saying no because you're too scared. Taking time out to work on yourself and to heal yourself is not a sign of weakness. Being brave and believing yourself is one of the best things you can do. Number nine, say no to needless waiting. Do you wait around for things that never come to light? You can't recover or recycle any of your wasted time. Two hours spent waiting and brewing frustration are two hours of your life that you'll never get back. Channel your energy into valued time whilst you're waiting, like meditating, writing, reading a book, or taking a walk. Time is precious, and it's not something we always feel like we have a lot of, so make it your time. Number 10, say no to letting other people's opinions determine your worth. Have you ever been so obsessed with other people's opinions of you that you forget your own? No matter what you do, what you say, how you dress, or how you look, people will always have an opinion of you. According to Marcus Aurelius, everything we hear about ourselves is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. And number 11, say no to shrinking yourself to fit in. Do you tend to hold on to what's comfortable even when it's making you unhappy or not allowing you to grow? It could be a toxic friendship, a one-sided relationship, an unfulfilling job, or a bad habit. Staying too long in your comfort zone can convince you that anything outside of it is too foreign or too scary for you to accept. When you force yourself to fit into places your roots have grown past, you're missing out on the opportunities to grow and to reach your greatest potential. Learning to say no is a valuable skill and it can be hard to master. So we encourage you to keep practicing. Say no to the things that aren't serving you so that you'll be saying yes to a clearer mind and happier life surrounded by more love and light. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and share it with someone who might benefit from it too. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell icon for more Psych2Go videos. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.